coming your way. Hey, hey, it's video of the day. Hey, hey. He approached the bench with his fists clenched. Our video of the day comes from the glittery butthole of America, Las Vegas, where a 30 year old man was being sentenced for aggravated battery with substantial bodily harm, among others. That's something you'll never see these days, though. Criminals actually being sentenced. But when the felon's attorney asked for probation and it was denied, this happened. It makes more sense, given the circumstances and his ability to do probation successfully, that he be given this opportunity. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he gets a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of the state of Nevada, this court. In San Francisco, they'd call that an argument for early release. <laughs> ah, the judge and the court marshal sustained some injuries, but they're doing okay. The criminal's doing fine, too. He's currently changing his pronouns and growing his hair out to prepare for serving time at a woman's prison. <laughs> Meanwhile, in New York, the tables were turned when a defendant was severely beaten by a judge who smashed her way through several layers of plexiglass. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, I have a theory that no one has brought up. The guy's name is Diobra. So maybe he was transitioning, but he can't spell Debra. No. <laughs> Just watching that video, I feel like that guy is not a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let her talk. He's definitely not excited for the new Star Wars movie. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy, them jumping like that, though. That was wild. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, he got, like... Six feet off the ground. I know. It's like they had a hidden trampoline or something. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty wild. I don't know. What do you think, Tyrus? That guy has some, uh, what do you call that? Ups. Uh, ups. Or, yeah, yeah, but he's going to have a few downs, too, Briz. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, this is a horrible thing that happened. I mean, the, even three grown men had a hard time getting him off. Yeah. But this is the result of that whole no cash bail no consequences, mm -hmm. you're released. And criminals are expecting that now. Yes. Their attorneys are expecting that. Yes. Now. If you look at his rap sheet, there was no way in hell that probation shouldn't even been, it should have been mentioned. Mm -hmm. But because everyone is doing the new progressive thing of releasing, every criminal is expecting it. And when they don't get it, they get violent because you know what the argument is going to be? She was oppressing him. Mm -hmm. It's her fault. She was using her white privilege to put another black man in the penitentiary. Had nothing to do with what he did as a human being. So this is the result of it. Now they're going to say, I, we used to say unaffected or unaffected. Well, this is a judge who was doing her job. Mm -hmm. And they're getting attacked. The other judges who aren't doing their job, the criminals aren't acting like that. Right. So the message until, unfortunately, one of the, like, it took until the woman, the government worker in Minnesota was carjacked. Mm -hmm. Had blood, all of a sudden, we need police. We need to get our streets safe. It's the same thing now. Mm -hmm. The problem is, it's only happening to judges who are trying to do their job. Mm -hmm. You know, guy, I could see you as a TV judge. <laughs> anyway, that has nothing to do with this. It was a dream I had. You know, where were the bailiffs? That's what I want to know. Where's Rusty the bailiff? <laughs> Remember the people's court? Rusty. He's on his phone. Yeah. Uh oh. See, I don't think, what's his name, Deborah? I don't think he really <laughs> thought this through very yeah, carefully. Yeah, it... Because he's already lost the motion. He's at some point probably going to be up for parole. And now at the parole hearing, his lawyer will come up and be like, oh, he's served his debt to society. He's a reformed man. And the prosecutor just shows up being like, roll the tape. Yeah. <laughs> like that guy's never getting out. No, he's not. And he shouldn't. Um, that was a wild clip. I mean, it's actually impressive yeah. what he was able to do. My, the thing is, post-COVID, I think we did way too much, like, virtual stuff mm -hmm. from home. I think we can probably do the next hearing by <laughs> Zoom. Yes. I don't He's, think he has to be in the courtroom next He needs time. to be in one of those Hannibal cages. <laughs> I Maybe he one, just wanted to give her a hug for someone <laughs> finally holding him accountable. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, it's a good point. You know, Tyra says it's like 
the expectation was that he wasn't going to jail. Absolutely. He has an incredible rap sheet of felonies, domestic violence. The guy, clear, he was in, he was at that hearing because he took a baseball back to somebody and tried to, yeah. like, assault them with it. This is not an individual who should be of his own recognizance ever allowed into society. And he was standing there right before he leapt to attack the judge. He said, I'm not committing any crimes right now. Yes. <laughs> and, then he, and then she was like, well, and he was like, oh, I'm about to. And then decides to like go after the judge. And I, I got to tell you, like, he, he, that was quite the leap. And it, it was like, he could have probably been a very good athlete in high school or college and instead decided to choose a path of crime. He could have used his athleticism for good for instead good. of evil. He could have maybe gotten a job in that Star Wars movie. You know? Exactly. Never. He still can, though. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.